Well, hello, Irene Smith here, and we are back at the family house on the beach. And I'm having a few problems thinking of good ways to go about things. First of all, I wanted to make this a party area. I was going to put in uh, maybe a fire pit and some furniture maybe a barbecue grill, and it turns out that most of those things can't go here because this is considered inside. <coughs> Excuse me. Still got that cough. The barbecue grill cannot go under the house. I'll show you. Go back to recreation grills and fire pits you can't put it here see that it's red and if i try to put it anyway it says cannot have this inside well that's kind of dumb i mean it it makes some sense but at the same time this is make-believe world so what the heck difference does it make whether it's inside or outside I don't know if the outdoor gym stuff would go here either. No. Can I have this inside? So this whole area is basically useless for outdoor type stuff. So that leaves very little room to have any kind of real garden. If we do, if, oh, by the way, I don't know if I showed you this last time. I put a place to hang up wet bathing suits and towels and things. Um, it leaves very little room for a garden of any kind. I suppose I could do an English garden, but I'm that still have to put a, a gazebo, 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 gazebo somewhere. Um, the metal one is is required for the English garden. The regular one is required for the American garden. But if I do an American garden, first of all, where the heck am I going to put the swimming pool? And I hate to cut it. I'm, I'm thinking maybe just the heck with the garden competition this time because um, I hate cutting down all the trees. And that's one of the things that almost all of the garden types require you to get rid of all the trees. And some of these trees are pretty nice. I mean, can you imagine how many decades these trees were growing? I mean, if these were real trees in real life, can you imagine how long they'd been growing? Seems like a kind of not so nice thing to do. Besides the fact that uh, trees add oxygen to the air and and you know, I just don't like the idea. I know this is all pretend. It's not real trees we're cutting down, blah, blah, blah. I get it. I get the, the same thing with the indoor-outdoor thing. But I don't know. I just don't know. So why don't we come in here? We should have a dining area. We should also have a living room. So let's go to furniture, dining room, tables. Now, I think I want a fairly good size table simply because, um, as it seems to happen almost all the time, I would love to get some new buyers because almost every larger house that I work on, number one is either the Johnson family or the Smoth family. And it's getting a little boring. Um, I'm not sure which of these tables I want to use. I'm getting a little boring. I keep using Beskit all the time. Maybe the Samosta. There's a 300 millimeter. There's a 200 millimeter. There's a 250 millimeter. I would think that this place, this house, this room, I think this one. 
and we'll pale oak is fine. The legs, I would I would want them to also be pale oak. So let's do that. Of course, there's probably no chairs to go with it, but we'll see what we can find. All right, so that was the table. Now we need chair, bar, no, I don't want bar chairs. Thank you very much. Actually, what I should do is see some most uh, tables, 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 tables. Ah, there is a chair. There is a samosa chair. There are also benches. Hmm. That could be. But, oh, I want to make the pale oak, pale oak. I mean, it seems like they should match, right? I'll put one there. And we'll put one there. And then, do we want tables at each end, uh, chairs at each end? That wouldn't be bad. Is there a really small bench? Hundred and twenty five. Nah. Let's just go with the samosa chair here. We want pale oak and pale oak. We'll put one at this end. And we'll walk around and we'll put So we're getting a lot of the living room done. Hello. And well, hello, Merck. Hello. So how are you? I'm tired. Yeah, me too. Yeah. I don't know why. But I was just saying, um, you've seen this house, right, that we're working uh, on. This is the one we were doing the other day. I've seen right? some of it. All right. So under here. Oh, yeah. I thought it would be really cool if I put a dining table mm -hmm. and a barbecue grill yeah. and like all that other stuff that you need for an American garden. Yes. Guess what you can't put under here? Anything that is outdoor furniture because yep. it technically counts it can, as a room? It's technically inside. That doesn't make any sense at all. Absolutely not. It doesn't make sense. Wow. And I don't know if they decided to do that when they created the property. Or if they didn't think about this part until after, Oops. you know, those things happen. Well, so the thing is, uh, yeah, I got to figure something out with the garden. As a matter of fact, I was planning on finishing this house this week. Yeah. I mean, this today. But I think it's going to go till next Tuesday. Oh, wow. Um, all I can say is uh, good luck. I could hear, I could you, I could hear in your mind that you have problem. Yeah, so my mind is really loud I when just, it's pro I got a problem. I don't know what's going on. I'm gonna go now. Okay, so at this point, what is it that we always say? Uh, audio conforming can be very annoying sometimes. Oh, that's for sure. Uh, yeah. But what do we always say? Uh, oh yeah, chocolate, chocolate for, for Mark, Mark and chocolate, chocolate for, for Allie. Allie. All right, I'm gonna see and them. chocolate for Matthew. Oh, yeah, because he's having problems right now. Yep. Well, all right, I'll tell Nothing him. to make you feel better than than uh, some nice chocolate. I'll tell him. All righty. Wow, that microwave is loud. Yeah, it sure is. What is in it? Uh, my food. Oh. Okay. So that was our required visit from Matt and Merck. Well, from Merck, anyway. Matt was not here. But, hey. He'll he'll come next time. Okay, let's put those where they belong. I'm, I'm really liking how the living room is coming out and how the dining room looks. But I think what I'm going to do here is I want a coffee table from... To match the biscuit. Um, I think 150 is probably a good size. We're going to go with pale oak. To match the rest of the furniture. I kind of like this pale oak. 
I don't remember noticing it. I'm sure I've used it, but okay. Why can't I get that lined up? That's weird. Anyway, um, you know what else would be nice here? I can find one I actually like. It's funny, every time I see this rug, I think I'm going to go for it too. Every time I see this rug, I think of my mother. Because my mother had a rug like this in her house. Maybe too big. Okay, let's go down a size. We'll go down to small. Yeah, that'll fit. Go that way. Yeah. I can't tell where I'm putting it. Oh, good grief. Guess that'll do it. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, that's okay. At least it doesn't insist on having fringe on it or anything. Now, we need to have a TV. And I'm thinking of putting a TV stand and, and putting it here because if it was one of those ones on a swivel, you could face it toward the dining room if you wanted to w watch TV while you eat. And you could face it toward the living room to watch TV while you watch TV. So let's do that. Let's see. TV cabinet. There's a Paxon one. Wow, that wasn't good. Okay, there is a Paxon TV cabinet. Would have been cool if there'd been a Beskit one, since I've been using the Beskit furniture here. But, can't use the corner one because it won't go. This, this one's kind of nice. I can get it in Beach, which is close to the light pine. Uh, I don't know. Let's see what else we got here. See, this one is nice, but it might be. Oh, well, maybe not. All right. And it comes in beach, of course. The handles. Let's make the handles black. That's kind of nice. We don't want to put it too close because then you wouldn't be able to walk past that. And that would be awful to be bumping into the TV all the time. Can we go on both sides of it? Yes. Okay. So what we need here. Electronic equipment, entertainment, TV, and speakers. And I think this is the one I want because it seems to be on a stand i think small is big enough oh god that's huge that is enormous you wouldn't be able to see anybody in the kitchen too big or maybe it's not on medium maybe it's ah no that's the small one let's see what else there is well there's the old-fashioned tv Wow, I thought there was a smaller... Ah, oh, here we go. Let's see how big that one is. They're all huge. I think for a summer house that a regular sized, that a small TV is, you know, this old-fashioned one is absolutely fine. And that doesn't mean that we can't have oh, 
Yeah, that too, but oh, here it is. If the door is open. No, it doesn't open. So let's pretend there's a DVD player in there. We'll put the remote control here. That's a little disappointing. I thought there. Oh, well. I thought there were smaller versions of the um, flat screen TV, but I guess not. So let's. I'm going to pause for a moment and. Oh, now I can't walk on this side. Oh, darn it. You know what? I can walk sideways. I think this is looking pretty good, though. So let me pause for a moment and figure out what else to do. I figured it was time we gave this bathroom a little love. Um, while we're here working, uh, I actually, there's some news that's interesting. The, God, that's ugly. I'm going to leave the light, the mirror, and the rest of it is all not so bad. Let's give a, a new sink. Bathroom fixtures. Uh, sinks. And I keep using the same ones over and over again. Hmm. I mean, this one's not bad. It's better looking than what was there. I think maybe I will go with that one. Although I use that one a lot, too. Just to be different, let's go with this. Light blue. Why not? It's turquoise as well. And green. And grassy. And blue. Yeah. Actually, that's not bad. It's not bad. All right, we'll go with that. This is probably my least favorite part of House Flipper 1. It's realistic, yes. But it's not. And they have it. They have assembly in House Flipper 2 as well. And I never really got into it that much. I did a little bit. But not much. Okay, so there's the bathroom. There's the new sink. And I think it looks very nice, actually. Although, that might be better for this smaller sink. Yeah. Uh, the toilet and the tub are okay. Now let's do the walls here. Because there's nothing wrong with the walls, but I don't know. I there's that. There's matching to the floor, but there was another one here. These are good, maybe. What have we got? We've got there are blue. There is blue. Yeah, why don't we do that just to be different? So, oh, I said there was some interesting news. The uh, Dining Out DLC has a release date of November 26th. So, that should be fun. I'm looking forward to that. I needed three of them. Wow. I don't know. It seems like they're going faster than they were somehow. I'm sure that's not true. It just feels that way. Okay, so we're almost done here. And of course. Uh, you know what? I'm sorry. I'm going to leave it that way. Don't want to buy a whole. Well, all right, fine. 
we're going to do it right. We're going to do it right. Right? Right. Why not? Now we'll put that down. We'll get rid of what's left. And I think the only other thing I want here is... Uh, there's a small one by 90, 60 by 90. Shoot. I thought there was a smaller one. 80 by 120. Uh, <laughs> I guess that one's all right. And we'll make it. There's no dark. Yes, there is. Let's make it dark blue. Just so for contrast. Yeah, I guess that's a good size for in front of the thing. So that if you splash water or something. Okay, so I was saying when um, Merck was here earlier that we're probably not going to finish this today. Um, there's two bedrooms to do still. <clears throat> and I'll be honest with you, I haven't got much of a voice today. So... I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to put an outdoor table here. Although this is also considered inside. I don't know why all this stuff is inside. It really makes it, it, it's fine, except that it makes it very difficult for trying to do any kind of garden competition. And I think what I said before is going to stand. Um, not going to do the garden comp competition this time. I'm tired of, of putting everything that it says is required and then finding out that I only got half the points. So, um, we're going to put a picnic table here. I think it would be nice to. That one's not bad, I guess. But let's go with beach. And I think at this point, uh, no, I don't want to end it yet. I really don't. Now, I had a suggestion about adding another bathroom up here for one of the bedrooms, but I'm not sure I want to. Although that wouldn't be an entirely bad idea. You could turn that. How much room would you have? One, two, three, four. You'd only have three. I don't know. I, I really need to actually think about this house. I added some books to the bookcase, though, and I'm going to add more. The bathroom is now done. This bedroom I consider basically finished except for some decorations. And I'm not entirely thrilled with the way this hall looks. Maybe you could make a comment and tell me, do you think I should keep it this color or should I use a lighter color up here? And also, we need to do something with this floor. It's not attractive. Maybe the same light paint, light uh, wood that we have downstairs. I don't mind having rugs in the bathroom, in the bedrooms, and and tile in the bathrooms, but okay. Um, just going to pause for a moment, put off making any s important decisions right now, and do this bedroom at the top of the stairs. <clears throat> I like this wallpaper and part of the reason I like this particular wallpaper is that unlike some of the other designs, it's not 20 times as big on the walls. It is, I mean, it's a little bit bigger, but not as much as some of the other wallpaper designs. So I'm going to use that here. 
And I was thinking that maybe rather than another bedroom, in other words, to have rather than having three bedrooms in the house, um, what I might do with the other one is turn it into a home office. I know I do that a lot, adding offices, but that's the way it goes. So I'm not going to make you watch this whole thing. I'm going to pause the video and Whoa. finish. Well, hello. hello. Oh, we have a delivery for you. Wow, that's fantastic. Mm. Sorry. It's hot. Yes, I know. It's hot and ready for you. But you Thank to, you. You do have to mix the sauce in. The yes. Little... Yes. But, you know. Thank you very much. I just got a dinner delivery. Yeah. I thought he was, I thought Merck was making his own dinner, but he made dinner for me. I, I did both. Oh, okay. I have That's been, wonderful. Matthew, Thank you so much. Matthew, help because my paws are delicate. Yes. You wouldn't want to burn them. Right. And that stuff is hot. Right. Thank you. Thank Bye. you, Matt. Thank Bye. you, Matt. Bye. Bye. So I think what we're going to do today is, oh, there it goes. We're going to finish this room and that's going to be it because as you can hear in my voice, I'm not feeling particularly wonderful right now. Hmm. I, it's funny when, when you see that, it looks like it's more than two strips wide, but, and of course it is, it must be because Okay, we just need, well, we need one more. Uh, I think this is going to be a sort of a guest room. Or not a child's room, in other words. I wonder if I can, if doing that will um, mean that i don't have the johnsons buying the property now and in a way it doesn't matter but in a way it seems like the last few properties i've sold have been for the johnson family so we need a uh, floor covering because i really don't like the look of that so let's go to coverings we could go to this gray carpet or well we don't want a gray um how about pink? Why not? Yeah, that's not bad, actually. We'll do that area, too. I don't know why it doesn't show, so why should I? But, hey. Okay, so now we need a bed. And it's going to be a single bed here. Not bathroom. Okay. Actually, the Paxon single bed isn't bad. The Biscuit single bed isn't bad either. Hmm. Which one do we want? I think I'll go with the Paxon. Just so I'm not using the same thing everywhere. There's that. What is that? Oh, yeah. That's the messy version. Here the bed is made and there it isn't. So I'm going to continue with the pale oak thing and let's go with dark green. I mean, dark green, dark blue. And that's dark yellow. Oh, I knew it wasn't. I don't want orange. That's for sure. I don't know what tuna is supposed to be, but let's go with pink just for a color contrast, and it'll match the rug. How about that? And the metal is fine, I don't care. if It doesn't show that much anyway. There's the bed. We'll add a, what did we just do? Was that packs on or biscuit? Packs on. Okay. So furniture, bedroom, bedside cabinets, 
packs on like pale oak pale oak why not we'll just stick with the pale oak and there's the front now let's pretend that this is a maybe a teenager's room how's that and what we need is lights standing lamps table lamps i think there were some cute ones for kids or not well this is cool i kind of like that let's go medium i don't want chocolate larch what else is there american elm african teak cool chocolate beach burned beach i don't know brown beach I guess they'll give a contrast to the there we go what happens if we turn that off that's quite a bit of light oh no it's still light outside okay so that's basically oh no we need we need something else the nobody makes that sound anymore do they I only use it for myself Let's see, furniture, bedroom, wardrobes, and let's see, taxon is what we want. Those are taxon. We could probably do a 150. Pale oak, pale oak, pale oak. Is that the front? Yeah. I don't know what's wrong with my hands today. Yeah, that, that looks nice. That will do. So, oh, did I finish telling you that um, there's a release date for the Dining Out DLC? It's going to be November 26th. And... I'm really looking forward to it because there are so many places. I, I recently did, just for the fun of it, I did the um, train car. And I built a little newspaper stand type building or a cafe, actually, on the property. And if I had some dining out things, it probably would have looked a lot cooler than it did. Maybe I'll show it to you. I did record it before I sold it. So that's going to be it for today. I still have to do a decoration pass through this place. I still have to do the, well, the bathroom we did. I still have to do this other bedroom here. And let's see. Oh, that changed. All of a sudden, Dolan Trask is number one. Interesting. I wonder why. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter. So before we go, I want to ask you to please, if you haven't already done so, subscribe to my channel, um, make comments on my videos, uh, share the videos with your friends, share my channel with your friends. All those things help me get my channel seen. And don't forget chocolate for Chocolate for Mark. And chocolate for Allie. Chocolate for Allie. And chocolate for Matthew. And chocolate for Matthew. Yes, chocolate for me. All right. Yeah. yeah. Thank you so much for coming back. We want to say goodbye in a video. Well, for it's once. time to say goodbye. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. goodbye. We'll see you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Did so long. Goodbye? Farewell. A uh, feeder uh, saying uh, goodbye. I can't speak Italian. That's German. It's not Italian. That was German, buddy. It is? Yes, uh -oh. absolutely. No. Adieu. That was French. Italian. Oh. Au revoir.
Oh, that was Italian. For those That's people. French. Uh oh. You have a language problem, buddy. Yeah, he does. I mean, he thinks that we're speaking Austrian right now. Mm. Oh, I thought I was speaking Chinese. Oh, I thought we were speaking Japanese. Okay. Mm. Okay, I think we're good now. Right? That's very good. Chocolat pour Merck. Mm hmm. It's chocolate for Merck. In no, French. no, I get it. Okay. Bye. Bye. Wait a minute. Don't leave yet. Why don't I show you the train car that I did just recently? It's only a few more minutes, and I want to share it. So let's do that. I want to make a record of having done this flip uh, because I think it's kind of nice. And uh, <clears throat> this is the moving house, I think it's called. It's a the railroad car. And first of all, over here, we have a bar. We also have a little luncheonette. Then, and a nice little pond. Actually, this pond comes from the uh, workshop, as does the bar, by the way. And I just think it looks nice. Um, you notice we have... Uh, peeping Thomasina. Not a peeping Tom, because it's a girl. It looks like a girl, anyway. And uh, a little fairy making a visit. When we go into the building... Now, I did not get rid of this. I did on the other end. Um, I didn't sell the door. What I did was I left it as a I actually put a wall across it so that it doesn't, you'll see that the door is still here if you look from here. Actually, I did sell the door. It's gone. But it wouldn't matter anyway because, as I said, well, you'll see when we go inside. We've got a little place to sit and put your shoes when you get here. Now, this one does go nowhere. And I probably will not be doing this property again because every time you do it, you end up with a dog. And I either feel guilty for getting rid of it or I've got a do another dog and I already have three. So we've got a living room here with a TV and stereo and a DVD player. Too bad they never made a Blu-ray player. I guess we can pretend it's called it's a Blu-ray player. The kitchen is nice, I think. And then down through this door, we have, and I've been using the door from the Art Deco de DLC. Um, this is the bedroom. And as I said, I uh, must be on this side. No, I don't know. I keep getting confused. I know she's looking through the the window, but I can't find her on this side, from this side. Oh, there she is. Hello. We could open the window and let her come in. Okay, so in here, I actually separated it off, and I made a bathroom here. Toilet, tub, sink, very simple bathroom. Actually, they should have a mirror. I mean, after all. Oh, decorations. Come on, come on, come on. Mirrors. There we go. Um, I think I'm going to make it a simple one. This one. And I don't know, coarse dark oak right now is my favorite wood. So now they've got a mirror in the bathroom. So obviously you can tell what kind of garden I'm going after. We've got a pond over here. Oh, I know the one thing I forgot. I don't know why, but it seems to make a difference. Garden, decorations, sculptures. Our good old friend. 
actually also let's put them here um there's a statue that i really should use sometimes my grandmother my mom's mother loved elephants she loved owls but then again she didn't live to see hedwig the owl in harry potter um she passed away in 1995 and i believe the first harry potter novel came out in 1996. so um boulders Put a couple boulders here. Here's one. I wish these could clip closer together. It's funny. Some things will just clip through each other, but other things you just can't. Okay. I think that pretty much covers what I need to have for the garden competition. Yeah, jump over it. Why not? So, we've got places to sit and places to, and we have, although I don't have it, I can't actually attach the uh, vines. I'll show you what happens. One of the things a an English garden, which I'm very obviously headed towards, I wonder if maybe that one would work. Uh, obviously not. Okay, let's try that one. You cannot. I hadn't ex intended to, uh, no, you just can't. But what I did do to follow that requirement, I hope it works, is I put some vines on this building. So we are going to, did I show you everything? I showed you the bathroom. I showed you the bedroom. I showed you the living room and the kitchen and the entryway. Yeah, I think that's pretty much it. So let's go outside and let's sell the place. And we're going to try the garden competition. That's pretty good. It's not as good as I would have liked. They don't like the layout. And apparently I'm missing some sort of equipment, maybe the vines. I don't know, but 40% is nothing to sneeze at. Okay, now let's put it on auction. Are the Johnsons really going to buy this from me? Unbelievable. And you know what? I ain't even going to argue. I made close to $100,000 on this sale. Why would I argue about it, right? Thank you very much. And that's the last time I'm going to be doing that. 